This is a video recording of how to find the p-value numerically from a set of data. And we have a question here. It says, a national study finds that the average hours of sleep that a university student gets is 6.56 hours. A survey is done of 25 students at the University of Maryland. This study finds that these students get an average of 6.79 hours of sleep with a standard deviation of 0 0.66, uh, and that should say hours. Calculate the z-score and the p-value. Enter the p-value that you get. <clears throat> well, so let's let's see. So um, what is a p-value? A p-value is a probability that two numbers are different. And so uh, when you do the one that says, uh, is the p are these two numbers different or um, then the p-value has to be less than 0 0.05. But a p-value is a probability that two numbers are different if it's less than 0 0.05, or it says, uh, it's p less than 0 0.05 means there's less than a 5% chance that two numbers are the same. So they're different. Okay, so to calculate that, we need a z, and a z is the number of standard errors from the national average. To do that, we need to calculate a standard error, and then we can calculate z, and we're gonna use this table down here, uh, which don't worry, I have in a closer up view, um, to find the p-value. So the standard error is gonna be the standard deviation, and that's 0 0.66 hours over the number of data points, and the number of data points is 25, so it's going to be square root of 25. And if I do that, I get 0 0.66 divided by 25 square root, which is 5. I get that my standard error equals 0 0.132 hours. And to find z, my measured value is, let's see, average hours is 6.56. That's my average value. And my measured value for my students is 6.56, no, 6.79. And my standard error is 0 0.132. So I get my Z value now, let's see, it's gonna be 6.79 uh, minus 6.56 equals, so that I get a number on the top, divided by 0.132, I get 1.74. Um, and that number is the standard errors away from the average, from the national average. And now, then I'll have to, so go to, oh, to this table. And uh, I seem to have cut off my top here, but these are going to be z values. There we go. That says that they're z values. <clears throat> and I want uh, plus or minus 1.7. Uh, we're minus. Are we not? Yes, we're minus. Um, and then I want to go to 1.74. And I get this as my p value equals 0 0.04093. That is a p-value for to that is how we find the p-value. And that means that these two values are four, so we'll move it to 4.093% likely to be the same values. Or 95.917% likely different values, <clears throat> which is our test is 95% or higher, P value 0 0.05 or less. Uh, that's what we look for. And so we would say these two values, true, are different values.